the evaluations with mTOR inhibitors, which can um, block P10 and downstream pathways from P10, have been fairly mixed, but they do appear to be active. At least w two trials suggest the activity of P10, uh, of, of mTOR inhibitors, is going to be seen in patients who are less pretreated. So in the Na National Cancer Institute of Canada studies, um, there was a higher response rate uh, for patients who had no prior chemotherapy and it fell to single digits, so it went from 25 to 9 percent when the population under study had prior chemotherapy. But beyond that, the whole notion of can we exploit P10 uh, inhibition, can we exploit mTOR inhibitors in a better fashion, that's really the critical question. We were hoping that we could identify a population based on P10 mutation that would benefit from treatment um, and hence do a, an enriched study in that population really determine in people who should benefit from um, inhibition of mTOR what's the response rate, what's the stable disease, disease rate, how many women are de deriving clinical benefit. It hasn't worked out that way. So when we look at um, completed trials and we try to look at P10 mutations or even other mutations along the same pathway and see if they are prognostic in any way at all for responses, for stable disease, for progression-free survival, none of them appear to be prognostic. So at this point, we're still trying to identify populations who we should get mTORs and try to do these enriched studies where we can identify the real and true signal and the benefits of blocking that signal with mTOR inhibitors.